the worst moments of our life. Hey, girl, hey, that's bad. Uh, so speaking of, like, worst ever experiences... That is the worst ever. I don't feel so good. And that was my worst audition ever. How bad can I be? <laughs> and we feel the pain is best or funny. Welcome to Worst Ever <laughs> Podcast. I am your host, Christine Lakin. And with me, what and is that? Oh my God! It's my, bur- it's my Bernie, Bernie mask. mask. I have two. I have two Bernie masks. Like not, they're different. One's white with a bigger Bernie. This one's clean. That's why I'm wearing it. Oh my God! I, I wear that all day today. You guys were back. It's my it's 2021. Mask. What? It's what? 2021. We're still wearing masks. Oh my God! The fur mask kills me. This is a this you is my seriously? abominable snowman. I wear. I do people look at you like you're crazy when you wear they, that? Yeah, they do. They do. Okay. But it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't bother me. I feel very comfortable in them. This is like for evening fur. Evening fur. I love an evening fur mask. Mm-hmm. This is mm-hmm. party fur. Party fur. Yeah. Sure. Sure. This is my Canadian the raves. mask. Wait, we have to tell the listeners what's happening. Oh, so I first haven't been, of all, you, I, I haven't been in California for four months. <laughs> yeah, first of all, you guys, that's part of the reason why we're finally recording. It's March 2021. We haven't recorded since last year. Allah went home to Florida to see his parents for the holidays and to also try to keep them safe and to keep people away from them before they got vaccinated. Um, so and that was to going try on. to get a vaccination, and that did that happen for you? No, it did not happen, no. but I've got I've gotten all my alerts now that I'm in a different country <laughs> that I can go get <laughs> vaccinated. Can... Oh my god, great, perfect. <laughs> Which so you know all... me, I'm all about the COVID. I know all you want to do is get vaccinated, and then you had to go to you are currently in Vancouver, Canada. Mm-hmm. Correct. Um, and how long have you been there now? Three weeks? Um, I, no, four weeks. I'm on, I'm on week, I got here February 21st. I'm on week four. Uh, two weeks of which when you enter the country, you have to quarantine in isolation. So yeah, it doesn't matter guys, if you've been vaccinated, if you've had COVID, if you test negative for COVID, if you test negative five days after you arrive or 10 days after you arrive, you are in a full quarantine for 14 days in Canada. It is no joke. And by full they quarantine, like you can't leave the place you are staying. You can't leave. You right. can't go to the grocery store. You have to order everything in, yes. right? Yeah. So I literally, through production, negotiated an Airbnb for the two weeks of quarantine and then to the hotel after because I smoke and you have to go outside. I have to go outside. <laughs> so in the Airbnb, I can, I had, I was on the water so I can go on the dock and go smoke or whatever, but you have to order all the food. A Mountie, a Canadian Mountie comes and checks on you supr- randomly. It's fucking it, crazy. How many checks did you get in this? I got weeks? two checks and I got four calls. And then you have to sign on to this um, app called Arrive Can. And it's, you do a daily check-in every morning and it geotracks you. So your phone's pretty much geotracked. So I could leave, I I mean, I'm sure I could sneak out, but I wouldn't be able to take my phone. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't take my phone. How am I gonna Uber? By the way, Uber, they do Uber Eats here, but finding an Uber is almost impossible unless you're in the city city. And I was in like Deep Cove in North Vancouver, which is like the Beverly Hills of, <laughs> but on a water, which I- It looks so beautiful. With, like, it's gorgeous. It. And for two, for two days, it was gorgeous. And then day three, I was like, get me the fuck out of here. Like, I'm like, why are there so many trees? This could have been a mall. <laughs> this could have been a Costco. Like, why so many trees? And I started talking to the birds and there was a seal, a couple seals that would come on my dock. I have pictures. Yeah. I, I saw a seagull catch a starfish. Like, oh, like wow. shit oh, that wow. I don't really, yeah, I don't care about. 
like people would be like, this is amazing. I'm like, where's the sirens? Where's the homeless people? Where's the honking? Like, where's, where's the, the bar? Where's my people? Right. So let's talk bars for a second here in Vancouver. Everything closes at 11, last call at 9.45, 10 p.m. St. Patrick's Day, are you ready for this? Oh God. I went down, I went down to the hotel to order food and the bartender, because I'm friends with everyone at the bar now. And a lot sure. of the locals in this neighborhood come to this hotel bar, which I have recordings of this one guy, you'll die. Um, oh he, so he goes to me, he goes, you better order your cocktail now. I'm like, why? And it was like seven o'clock. And I go, what do you mean? It was just St. Patrick's Day. He goes, they're stop serving at eight. Everyone, they sh the government's made everyone stop at eight o'clock because they don't want because, craziness in the oh. streets of COVID. Oh, because of COVID. But the numbers, wow. the numbers are really low here. It's pretty, they don't have any vaccines here, but it's really low here. Um, right. Wow. Yeah, it's insane. And I haven't seen the sun in weeks. Because it's been raining. Raining, cold. I'm wearing... I'm wearing North Face, <laughs> like vests and jackets and hats and gloves. Oh my God. When I was like, I would like randomly FaceTime you and just to be like, how are you doing when you're in the quarantine? And like your face, like after day five, when you would answer, you were like. <laughs> <laughs> no, the so mountain like, guy. Are you okay? Are you all right? You're like, I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to make a second breakfast because. I'm so bored. I'm so bored. I, I, Christine, I ate so much during quarantine. That's all I did was eat. And I, the Mountie guy stopped coming <laughs> because I think I scared him off. What did you do? Because, well, I just wouldn't stop talking. I was like, no, no, no. He's like, okay, well, thank you. And I was like, no, 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 don't leave. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? I go, I haven't seen anybody in days. <laughs> He's like, what? And I go, I'm freaking out, dude. I go, I go, when are you coming back? <laughs> when are you coming back? And when they make my, when they call me, they're like, okay, well, we got to go. I go, well, no, well, hold on a second. Um, like, like, what's it like out there? What, do, what, what are people doing? What's going on? <laughs> like, I would ask random questions. I was so, dying. Do you want to tell people why you're in Vancouver? Alyssa's doing a movie um, for Netflix and Everything is all digital. Have you done this Netflix thing? Have you had, have you worked on a Netflix project yet? No. Like, well, so I, I a, shadowed a show that was, that was Netflix, but. I, he, he, everything's on this app and like, I'm doing like, I'm like literally going to school on the app, like to go on set. Like there's like so many things that you have to do to even clear before you, like I had a harassment class. I have, I have a, oh. I have a COVID-19 class. I have sure. like, it's like, but it's like, they're like classes. <laughs> I'm like, what's I know. happening? Yeah. Um, yeah, so there, everything's on the app. So she's doing a movie out here that she's also producing. Um, I can't talk about the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm here with the family, sort of just liaisoning life. Yes. Because her husband's there. And he's it was a lot. It was a. It's a. It's a last minute thing. trip. I wasn't planning on going. Yeah, because I literally was in Florida for two months, which yeah. I never stay in Florida for two months. But I had such a good time. I'm not going to lie to you. It was wide open. I mean, when I was talking to you over the break, and things were so crazy here in California, and literally the numbers were like insane, and I was like, "Oh God, I'm scared to go back to work." You were like, yeah, I'm just like out at the bars. Everything's open. I was like, I don't even understand that because people here will like put on a mask and then also run away from you if they see you outside on a trail. Like it was, it was like a completely different psychological not in Florida. mindset not in Florida. here. Listen, had I not had COVID before, would I be that person? Yes, 100%. 100%. Do I think that us having COVID sort of sets some sort of immunity? I do. The only reason I think that is because that the vaccine that they've created or these NRAs are recreating antibodies that we already have. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's what they're that's what it, that's what it's doing. Right. But to be well, clear, you safe. would get that yes, but to be clear, you want to get vaccinated and will get vaccinated. 
I got a Florida ID to try to get, I just, my sister just texted me and she said, uh, or Orange County, Florida is 40 and up now. You can get vaccinated here. And then I got a text oh. from LA, LA saying that um, because I had cancer before, my yep. testicular cancer, that I am I qualify for the vaccine. So I'm, so the day I'm getting back, uh, that next day, I'm like, I'm like already looking for appointments. I just can't book this far in advance. Yeah. So well, I'm, there's a, I, I either have several I, friends that have already gotten vaccinated. Now, granted, most of them are work in education oh, or or whatever. But I've had friends that are like, I'm just going to go down if they have extras that day, you know. And they've I signed totally up for them. the extra program. I signed up for the extra program. There's a uh, there's a link where you can sign up, and if there's extras in that area or whatever, they'll text you and say, "Come now," you know. Right. I've signed right. up for that. Um, I'm no, I'm getting vaccinated. Like it's the one, it's my new goal. It's my new Lysol. <laughs> it's your new Lysol completely. If, um, if you, you were see just... me in Florida, I, I was, if, listen, my, I, I, listen, I'm one of those people who are trying to jump the line. I don't fucking care. You email me, yell at me, send hate texts. I don't fucking care. Let me tell you why. If they're throwing, if they're throwing the vaccine away, I'm getting the vaccine. So call oh, me, jump sure. the line, Allah, call me whatever you want. I'm fucking getting the vaccine. And I don't care if you think I'm jumping the line. I'm jumping it. Okay, Khaled, calm down. Now, uh, people... another one. <laughs> and now um, people don't know, though, that like, when you get this vaccine, like, you don't know what you're going to get necessarily. And it doesn't matter, right? You just get whatever you get. I'll take whatever I can get. I would love the Johnson and Johnson. So you don't have to remember to go back? No, it's not that. It's that I, I'm hearing through the grapevine, through some exclusive, exclusive people that that's the one to get. Okay. Variant wise, the Johnson Johnson is probably the best. So interesting because it's like the easiest and it doesn't have to be on the ice and all of that so um now and you were just in the the wall street journal talking about covid oh yeah yeah if you congratulations can get, if you can on the, your oh, thank you yeah congrats on yeah, your they call, I, that well survivor core we're both we're both part of that right in fact i was supposed to join a panel tomorrow i can't do it but um uh survivor core they contacted me they put me in touch with the wall street journal she asked me if i wanted to do an interview i did mm -hmm. it um yeah this long hauler bullshit I don't are you not feeling any of it well you know I have like what I would call blackouts of when I try to think like I would be talking to you and I'm trying to think of a word you know and uh, my speech all of a sudden I'd be like so like um uh um the brain fog like it's literally like a like a blank space in my brain I almost feel like I like, I can't yeah. remember what I was going to say. I cannot, I know what I'm trying to say, but I cannot think of the word. Or for instance, I, you know, I've got, I know I came downstairs. I've, I need three. Oh, I have to remember, put three things on a grocery list. And I'm like, da, 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 I'm doing stuff. And I come downstairs. If I don't do it within like a minute, two, I can remember two. I can't remember one. Like, I can't yeah, remember it. No, and it I ha I, I've had to and almost like trigger myself to help my member I started doing puzzles again I started um I started well, trying to just idea. like do yeah puzzles trivia like anything to try to like like jump start my brain a little bit but I'm also like is it COVID is it the fact that I've had two kids like I felt like a dumb dumb ever since I had my first child like I've had brain fog for five years but not like this yeah but it's it's just different it's different this does feel no you're a right different. it's very different it's like it's like feeling frozen or stuck. I can never describe it. I, I just feel like I'm like I'm not in the same body. I, yeah. What I describe in the Wall Street Journal is like, say, I wanted to go buy a a, a, a carton of eggs. Right. I, I, I gotta go get eggs. I'm going. I get in the car. I get, start driving. I pass the store. 
what am I doing? Where am I going? Where am I supposed to be going right now? Why am I going there? What's happening? Wait, I have to like re I have to rethink everything. And it takes me a minute, like literally takes me a yeah. few minutes. I'm like going, where am I supposed to be going? Why am I? Okay. Oh, the grocery store. Why am I going to the grocery store? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I have to like trigger everything. It's horrible. And the, the, um, the exhaustion spin out of this world like the tired i've never been so tired in my life still even my even it's still it's gotten worse it's not gotten better it's gotten worse and my parents even said when i go to florida i'm like out about you know friends I, you know i grew up in that area yeah um and my parents were like what are you doing home so early you know like think like that i'm like mm -hmm. i'm just i'm tired i'm like really tired yes it's an age thing don't even start writing me about I, i'm old i got it but <laughs> you don't know a lot a lot's got second third fourth wins and can wake up with the best of them and function during the day i'm exhausted yeah i mean i definitely was feeling that at times for sure um I'm, I feel like my energy is a little bit back, which is good, but I think like, you know, before you left, when we started training, I definitely think that's helped. I'm, you know, I'm trying to, I saw Rachel this morning, oh. trying to keep it oh, up great. just because, yeah, I'm just trying to make you jealous. Um, I am trying to keep it up though, because I feel like I've got to, I started going to acupuncture, my neck was hurting me. Like I'm just doing everything I can to try to, I went to all the doctors, Going back to get my physical again, you know, it's not to be trifling. Well, the doctors, is what I'm the, saying. Well, and that that was the other thing that I talked about in the Wall Street Journal, which I don't think they wrote about this. But you know, it's the whole doctor thing. You try to explain the COVID stuff, like you try to go, "Look, I had COVID. I'm experiencing this. This." They don't get it. They just don't get it because it's just they don't know. Thank God, my doctor, she sort of researches stuff and goes, "You're right. This is a symptom." Blah blah blah. But like I got an, a major abscess in my mouth while I was in Florida. Uh -huh. My face swell up to here. And I talked about it. Like in your Diane, gums? Diane, in my jaw. Uh-huh. And Diane, Diana from mm -hmm. Survivor Corps mm -hmm. went to the hospital for it. And so we did a we did a Zoom call with the head of dental at Rutgers because uh, they want to possibly study, you know, because they're thinking that the COVID live can live in like the jaws, in the so it's caught there. There's a there's a lot of people out there who've had COVID where teeth are just falling out. What from infection what? from abscess, and it's not bacterial. Like they gave me the, I, I was on two rounds of antibiotics. It wasn't working. Same thing, her thing, same thing. And she ended up in the hospital. So it, oh Diane and I, by the way, by the way, Diane and I are the same exact day of illness. We both got sick on yeah. March 10th. We just celebrated our year anniversary. Yeah. Well, I, I remember because I, I posted on the 15th, the day I got sick. Right. Yeah, because that was five exactly days after five days I saw days. you. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So it's yeah, crazy. there's a lot of stuff that's happening that we just don't know. Well, and we probably won't really have conclusive, you know, they won't have conclusive studies and evidence for a little while longer. But I did not hear that one. That's that's major. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I'm sorry I have an extra round experiencing the fatigue. Oh yeah, no, it's, I have an extra a, round of antibiotics just in case since I'm out of the country. Yeah. They're like, we'll, we'll get you another prescription just to have with you. God forbid it flares yeah. up again. But my face was literally like here. Oh it was like. Oh my God. Woof. Um, so what's your day to day like there? Are you able I mean, to go to set or they're night. not letting you go to set because they don't want they won't let me go to set. I'll, I I don't get I don't get far. I, there's zone. It's the way they've done the shows zones. now, and you know is they yeah. do it by zones. This happens to they do it like a red zone, yellow zone, orange zone, green zone, you know. The actors are in the red zone. Uh, some sets do it by like A, B, C. They do it by letters. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the uh, studio. 
the best part of the whole, I mean, the worst part of the whole thing, but the funniest part of the whole thing is like Alyssa, like her favorite part of a set is the crew. Yeah. Like she bonds with the crew. Oh, it's the best. She, I'm like, I'm like, how's the crew? She's like, I don't know. I can't see, I can't talk to anybody. I can't see them. It's the worst. Such a shame. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's, it's just, like so it's like the, Even actors, they like kind of keep you, but then they make you go away and put, PPE on and yeah, it's cr- yeah yeah it's crazy like rehearsals are with PPE she's like this is a and this is her first job since COVID you know yeah so she's right. not used to what's going on and yeah. Netflix is really strict they're really strict about they I mean they literally opened and they moved everything here um another friend of mine is here shooting a ABC pilot same thing like you know the thing is, it's like, you can't go home. So like, yeah. we're so close to LA, we're only two and a half hours. <laughs> but on the weekends, you can't go home because you can't do the two week quarantine. So as soon as, like, if you were to get a, let's say you do a pilot here and you get a show that moves here, it's feasible for most actors because like on the weekends or if they have like, a lo- they just go home, come back and go home. But you can't do that anymore. Not until the restrictions are up. So it's, but they're shooting a lot of, they're shooting a lot of shows here right now. A lot of shows. Well, it's, I mean, it's all basically back. It's just back in a completely different way. I mean, I told you right right before you left. So I was up for a Netflix limited series and they called as an actor and they called and said, um, it was a recurring role in this limited series. And they said, uh, Hey, we need to make sure you have a valid passport. You know, you're on a veil for it. And I was like, yeah, I have a valid passport. And like, and are you good for the dates? And I was like, um, yeah. Do the dates again? And then I like looked and it said, you know, February 28th through April 9th. And I was like, holy shit, that's a long time. And I'm like, but then I read the notes and it said, you, you know, given that this is a recurring role, you may not be able to travel back. And now I realize why, because of that quarantine. Because there's no, even if I was only, even if I was in the first episode, and then had three weeks off or something, there still wouldn't be enough time. Re- they probably wouldn't let me go. 10 days off, they wouldn't let you go, you know? So you're there. I would still be there. I mean, I'd be there with you, which would be cool. But my kids- It'd be great. I'm glad I did. I mean, I'm, I, it's fine. I didn't get it. It's okay. It went to someone else. My kids would have been, <laughs> they would have been dying to be up there. Would have been really hard. So well, I don't you know what we would have done. You would have had to bring the kids. There's no way. I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. Well, Angel didn't. Angel, my friend who's doing the ABC pilot, she didn't bring her kids. And I think if it gets picked up, it'll shoot here. There's talks of Colorado and there's talks of Australia, New Zealand. I mean, um, Australia would be amazing, we, honestly. Right. But she has kids. I mean, there's kids involved. So you'd have to move. Her oh, you move your whole family to Australia. Well. Oh. But her husband's an That's actor hard. as well, and he works like he's he was he's doing a show right now too. You know, so it's um yeah, we have to get her on this. We have to get her on this the podcast because she she's hilarious, a eh? and she <laughs> she's got some good stories. But yeah, <laughs> it's it's a different world. It's a different. There's no crafty. I know it's the well okay so the the, so the shows I've been on there's been crafty but it's in its own trailer now and you go up and they show you all the things they have and then they can make it for you and just kind of so there's it's I guarantee you they are saving so much money on crafty because in the past you'd be like oh I'll take one of these I'll take one of these for my kids oh my husband might go on a little I'll stick one of those for later you know now my backpack would be cool um I'd like a um, a nutter butter and maybe um can I get one of those granola bars and they're like okay there you go and you're like and I yeah, yeah that's that's fine <laughs> you have to like be judicious yeah, with your ordering would, was, it's crazy I mean the whole I, the whole thing is just nuts I know the whole the thing testing nuts. three um, times you have to test three times a week a lot I tested every day on my last show up the nose every day. Every Why day. every day? I think because the numbers were so crazy that they were like, they just wanted to be 
like well what's really crazy is a, a friend of mine it. told me about the uh, a friend a friend of mine told me about this article. I don't know what paper it was in. I'll have to have him send me the link. But they compared California and Florida. Florida's wide open. Economy is open. California is 100% closed. <laughs> Nothing's open. Numbers are just as high as Florida. And Florida's less, actually. Wide open, economies open. I don't I'm know going, what to tell you. I don't. Like, I don't know what. I don't know what that means. I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, we have a much bigger population here, so you might have. Well, to look that's at the, the other data. thing. You said. It's denser. Like, it's no, it's denser. It's denser, and like LA, for instance, is very dense. A lot of uh, multifamily homes. You know. Yes. yes. Apart and your parents got to homes, visit. My parents came to visit, my parents are fully vaxxed. It was so funny. It, they, they literally went from being like the most, you know, um, uh, uh, susceptible, vulnerable to like the biggest superheroes. Like they're like, da, 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 vaccinated, we're here. And like, we're going places. I'm like, dad, you have a mask? He's like, oh yeah, right, right. And you know, cause he's like not, he's not concerned. I was so concerned for them. And to have them be able to fly here and to have zero concern for their safety was like the biggest weight off my shoulders. I didn't realize I had been feeling so scared and vulnerable, not really for myself. I had it. I'm okay. It was the, it was like the underlying worry. You know what it felt like. You're always worried. Oh, I, like no, something's going to happen. I, listen, I, listen, you, you think I have family drama? Wait till I tell you the new stories, which I'm Oh God, what, what are we waiting for? Well, because this is like a, this is a this is a four parter, okay? Okay, now well, just it's like, tell me this, tell me some headlines and some tidbits. Well, there's so, there's some new characters. One's by the name of Noodle. Okay. Mm-hmm. My uncle okay. Noodle, and then my other uncle, and I have like full on recorded of <laughs> everything. My uncle, uh, let's call him War. Okay. Because in Arabic, that's what his name means. Got it. Um, it is a continuation of the Kellogg's and uh, snacks Waffles. and Waggy Beef story. Uh-huh. Right. Other side of the family, though. It's the okay. other side of the family. I never even talked about the funeral for my uncle, uh, the, the Waggy Beef uncle, mm-hmm. the whole, I, which I will. So it's, it goes from there to now. It's gone berserk it's now my mom's side of the family that's involved it's insane um but to say uh, with your parents and the vaccination that was like my big deal like one of the things that happened with the noodles thing noodle's son got married he wanted my mother it's his sister he wanted my mother to come i was like have you lost your fucking mind because my mom hadn't been vaccinated yet and i go and it's still a, like a 400 person wedding. It's not like they're it's a having- a 500 person wedding in Florida. Right. I'm like- Right. And then my uncle wore, his kid had COVID and went to the wedding. Yeah. And I was like- No. You fucking, yeah. I'm like, you're out of your minds. For what? A beef dinner? <laughs> like, what, like, what is this? Um, anyway, so the story goes, it's just a crazy story. Um, but it stems from the funeral of my dad's brother, other side of the family. It all comes from that whole moment. Oh, get ready. Um, that's just the highlight for this season that's coming okay. up. <laughs> okay. You're going to get into uh, it. But, but my father, I talked to my father this week and that, cause there's a wedding in Dallas that he wants to go to mm-hmm. and I mean, instinctually, I was like, have you lost your mind? You're not going to Dallas. Well, Texas is no masks and, and you know. Right. Like, he's, like, but I, he's like, but I'm vaccinated. And I go, that's right. I go, oh, okay, hold on. I go, okay. And I'm like, are you going to wear your mask? He's like, yeah, daddy, I wear my mask. Don't worry, I wear my mask, daddy. I said, okay. I go, I mean, I can't say, I go, I can't I know, say no. I, I mean, I can't because he's vaccinated. He's got the double Moderna. No, you can't. I mean, so, they they can go to, yeah, they're okay. 
they just have to be careful if they're around other people, obviously, that are susceptible, older people, people, they just, and then, you know, they just have to kind of, we all have to kind of, this be, what, people that haven't been vaccinated, we just got to be gonna, like cool until everybody does, you know? Yeah, it's going to be a big, it's going to be a really big wedding and it's his like best friend's brother's. It's a big family but thing. But also, and, and can um, I say, also, I feel like anyone who is not vaccinated and who is susceptible should use caution by making decisions like going to a 400-person wedding. I mean, everybody has to make their stupid. own decision. People are, people are stupid. <laughs> yeah, people are stupid. But what, so, okay. there's just stupid people. But why am I going to put my parents in the predicament? I'm like, I don't care if it's her brother or not. Like, well, no, not, listen, like, like now they're vaccinated, so I, they're not making a stupid decision. They can go, they can go do that, I think, and feel, I mean, I know the CDC doesn't sponsor that rhetoric, but, you know, I guess they'd be fine. I, mean, if I you, don't know. If, listen to me. If I was going to get it again, there's no way I wouldn't have gotten in Florida. There's just no way I wouldn't have gotten Florida. Trust me. The I places I went to, I was in shock. I literally was like, What's happening here? Like, I'm like, you're like inside, no masks at a bar. They know we have a people. pandemic, right? Yeah. Like one bar, it was really hilarious. One bar, like you walk in and they make you wash your hands, which is fine. It's great, but it's just weird. I'm like going, okay. But the person that's standing next to this person and this person, I go, there's no six feet. Everyone's apart. talking. There's no. Right. There's no place. Yeah. Like the day I got out of quarantine here, I literally was like free for all. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I'm out. I'm going out. And I walk into the like restaurant. I like, I go to this place called, called Pier 7 for brunch. I'm by myself. I go to Pier 7 for brunch and I'm in this like plastic enclosed like plexiglass. Like everything's plexiglass here. Whoever invented plexiglass is a billionaire right now because yeah. everything. They, they contact they contact trace you every place you go so you literally they take down your name your number and the time that you're there so that they can like establish if someone oh, does yeah. get covid it's you they it. register it all you've been contact tracing and from shops to restaurants to wow. bars to whatever you are you are you fill out the your phone number like, and everything find so my being COVID contact tracing. It, i mean they do it right here yeah. Yeah, it's nuts. It's nuts. Um, but it's all plexiglass. You're sitting in a plexiglass. I, I went out with Alyssa's um, kids and her husband, and he hadn't been to a restaurant in a year. Mm-hmm. And I was, he's like, "Are we eating inside?" I go, "Yeah, we're eating inside." He goes, "Dude, I go, I don't." He goes, "I don't know if I can do it." And I go, "I know it's weird the first time you do it, but I had already been to Florida." And, several times right. so I knew like I'm used to it I go but just trust me you're, you're fine you hand sanitize when you when you walk in they like temperature check mm-hmm. you hand sanitize you take your phone number they put you in this plexiglass booth that's all the you know the barcode menus you know mm-hmm. um you order they have like a system where like if something's up then it's clean if it's down it's not so you can't sit there you know that kind of a system yeah. um it, and it's just weird because he's like I, I feel like we need to get out of here i go i know it's fucking weird and it's going to be weird for a lot of people for a long time to like go. i, and allow, down I feel i'm not ready i'm not ready to go inside a restaurant and eat i'm oh, not you, you gotta do it we i mean it just you, opened you here, gotta so. do it but I did go like, so I was over by, um, I went to Olive in Time the other day. I had a couple hours to kill. And so I went in to grab like something small for lunch and people were sitting in, I mean, it's limited capacity. People were sitting in there and I was like, I was like astounded to see it. It's like, I haven't seen that in a really long time. Like people sitting inside, it's like, oh my God. It's weird now that like seeing storefronts closed and empty was so creepy in the beginning. It ever, it just felt so creepy now you see people inside places and you're like oh, creepy <laughs> it's just like we get so used to something but I oh, think I know. It, like it, my friend was asking me the other day she's like I just don't know if life is ever going to go back to normal and I was like we, we all have like attention it's, span going, back. it's going 
So let me be clear. Yeah, the more the people get vaccinated, all of a sudden there'll be that concert or that dinner or that experience that you did inside without a mask. And you'll be like, ah, for a second. And then you'll the next time you go out, I guarantee you, you won't even remember to bring your mask. Once it changes, it will yeah, change. No, no. And people are going to, I mean, I, I think, look, I say I'm generalizing. I think that some people will have a real issue. And I, I respect that because I think it has no, a I, total I think, fucking I, mind fuck. I think what you're saying is right. I also think that it's going to change people in the fact that like, if they do get a cold, they're not going to feel weird about wearing a mask out, out when they go do something. I was just thinking have, about that. I, I think people are going to be more um, cautious and alert about how they, like, because of the illness or the, it's weird here, they call it the virus. Like mm -hmm. I heard some like mother talking to the children the other day. I went to go to gelato and um, they're like, no, darling, you got to stay outside. You got to stay outside. They're like, but we're going to go in. They go, no, six feet apart. You got to stay outside. We don't want the virus. We don't want the virus. And I'm like going, wow, it's weird to say the virus. Like, cause I always say COVID, you know, or right. the Corona or the Rona, but I'm like the virus, the virus sounds so like legit. Yeah, I know. I know totally. Like, and then I was like thinking, like, what am I gonna do with all these masks? Well, girl, you really I mean, went hard. You went fully my, in. My teddy bear. Is that bear. a bukule? Is that a bukule mask? It's, it's that, like a fuzzy. That sheer, yeah, the sharing yeah, shearling. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Okay. I have this in black, white, and the browns. I have my Burberry. Burberry. Everyone has it. Uh, mm -hmm. my, Okay. Take off. Okay. Yeah. Great. Faux, faux Burberry. All right. Faux, faux Burberry. I, mean, I, have, I have my faux Burberry. I have my, my tie dye. Oh, I love that. Yes. Yeah. Go get your fish concert. So this you go. So, this is for like when I go to the woods. Sure. Hunting. Hunting with your, with your masked mm -hmm. friends. Doubtful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> This is when I this is when I go to um what's that little painting place where you decorate plates and cups and stuff? Oh, color me mine. Smile or whatever. Color me mine. This is when I That's a color me mine mask. I love that you have a color me it's mine. It's my artist. Mask. It's my my artist mask. I have so many, right. I mean, I have a whole nother bag. I have a I, I took a luggage of just masks. And I'm then sure the, you did. the Wait, hanging things. These, these, I these love are that. Lifesavers. Yes, Georgia wears those to school. Um, thank you. Well, because, because you're you, not setting you them on her. table. Yeah, you, you're not setting them on tables and stuff. You know what I mean? Right. So you're they're around, no, it's good for the kids too because then they can take it off outside and like run around. Right. Um, let me ask you. I have a question for you. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. What what will you never do again post COVID? What's one thing you will never do again post COVID? Nothing. I will go back to normal life. Hundred percent. So you will not I will be shake, like I will shake it. I'll shake hands. I will kiss on the cheek. I will hug. You yeah, will blow I, on birthday candles. It, you will eat birthday cake blown on by other people. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay. Hundred percent. You will I mean, lick will seats of airplanes. Well, I've never done that. <laughs> when am I sure? licking seat of an airplane? <laughs> no. But my I other don't know find, your life. My, I don't know your life. I'm testing my, you. No, but my other find, <laughs> which I got at the in Florida and Georgia. Oh, that's Mini Lysol's. cute. That's cute. Just a little spray in Mini my Lysol's. face. Yeah, so I, th these are travel sites, so you can carry them right. on planes. Love it. Yeah. Oh, I'm all about it. I got my hand sanitizer. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I will definitely. I, I probably. I don't think anything weird about a birthday cake. Honestly, I. I. I would. I'll probably forget about that very quickly. Um, but. I think I definitely will be more um, adamant about, you know, things like hand washing. And also if I'm like traveling on a plane or if I'm feeling sick, so many times I've had to go home for Christmas or I've been traveling for work or got to go to the grocery store. Kids are hungry. 
and you have a full on cold. You can't, life doesn't stop just because you have a cold, you know? But now I think I will wear a mask because why would I expose anyone else to my damn cold? Well, I, I don't think the masking is going to go away anytime soon. Um, but the only thing I'll be more conscious of is being courteous to other people and asking before, like, for instance, like here, I always ask, do you mind if I join you in the elevator? You know, that kind right. of thing. I know you don't think about that. Right. But you're sure. like, oh, do they want me in your, so I go, do you mind if I, yeah. they're like, no. either they'll say no or they'll say, yeah. If they said no, it would not upset me. I totally get it. Like I, I'm, I'll, I'll be more aware of other people's spaces. So I won't hand, I won't yeah. shake hands unless I'm, uh, uh, I don't mind shaking hands. I'll, I'll go back to it. Um, but I won't, if they're not into it, I won't get upset. Like, oh, the bitch or he. Well, whatever. here's like you know, a weird one it. for me. Like I'm a hugger, you know, I, yeah, hug, I hug everyone. But I always ask, I go, I always say, do you, like it's people I know, especially like, are you good with hugging? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're well, fine. now. You're whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, now, obviously. But I mean, there's going to be that weird moment where you're like, do I need to go back to hugging? Do I need to hug like every person I see in life? Do I? Do I hug too much? Well, see, a lot of people are, a lot, a lot, a lot of people are like weird about the touch thing, which I'm like going, I mean, I think that science has said that you can't get it from touching. It's, it's an air born. Yeah, yeah it's an air born. But if we're like so hugging, like, but we're not hugging like that. We're hugging like that. I don't know. Hugging is like a weird one for me, but people are like, don't hug. Yeah, I, don't, I don't have it. I don't know no, why, but I keep doing this that. like weird. Now I have all these like weird hand motions when I see people, but we're like not supposed to hug. So you do that weird thing when you're like, because you're so used to hugging and you never shake your friend's hand. Like in France, what are they doing? Everyone used to kiss. I mean, that's a real legitimate thing. That is such a thing to kiss twice mm -hmm. or sometimes three times. I've been kissed four times on the cheeks. It's, it's you know, so can you Same imagine in Middle France? East. Right. So they're just like, they must just, there must be so many times that people are just like, do, I'm doing one of these. Well, I do I this think, a lot. I, I think they were like, I did make I some weird wearing... funky chicken things. No, I think okay. they're wearing their masks. So, I, you know, I, I, I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm we need someone from France on here. We need we need to understand what's going on there. Everyone's like worried about me getting it again. I might get it again. I don't know. I'm going to get the variant. I don't know. Why are you, is everyone worried about you? You're literally- Because they're like, how are, you going, how are you going out? How are you going out? How are you doing things? I'm like, I don't know. I go, listen, I've decided. I've made New Year's on. I said, you know what? I'm living my life. I can't. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Let me ask you a question. Go. Do you think they will ever, they probably won't, but do you think it's true that if you had COVID, that you would fight the virus the second time around if you got it again in the same way as if you had a vaccine? Or do you think you would have more yeah. symptoms without a vaccine? Like, would you be um, asymptomatic right now and not know? No, I would. I wouldn't. I don't think you'd be asymptomatic. I don't think even with the vaccine, you'll be asymptomatic. I think with the vaccine, you'll get it, but you won't be hospitalized or you won't get severe symptoms. No, you I'm talking about specifically you. I think I think exactly the same way. Really? I, I mean, not the same way I had it at first, not, not the same way I had it in the beginning. I think I'll have like flu-like symptoms, nothing extreme. Not like the chest stuff. Maybe. Like not, maybe you would get it more like I had it. Like a bronco. I see, I think you had it bad too, but you're not like really, you, I mean, when you were telling me you were sick, you were really. I was sick, but the first I, didn't couple days, the I didn't have the chest thing. I had the, oh, you the aches. It? I had the, <clears> no, <throat> I didn't have that. I had the, the sore throat was bad. I had no, eight, no, the I had chest fever. The, I was exhausted. The, the chest thing was. Uh, I'll never want to go through that again. That was scary. I can't with your phone. It is so oh. loud. <clears throat> that was Angel parking trying to Parker trying to FaceTime me. I just She's got Reese's. <clears throat> I just got oh a Reese's <laughs> uh, stuck in my throat.
Can you get any kind of normal TV there, or is it all like Canadian oh, if television? Oh, if you if you only knew what I went through to get TV. <laughs> so I brought my Apple TV, and it won't work. It wouldn't work because it says you're out of the country. It literally uh, will say like knows. Bravo. Will say you're out of the country. Blah blah. So then I got a VPN. What's that? It's this app that you get, or this thing that blocks where if you can, it'll make the internet feel like you're in the whatever country you're supposed to be in. Okay. So it makes it makes my internet feel like I'm in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, I, this is like the dumb way of explaining it because I don't understand it, but sure. this is how I figure it out. So then I turned my phone into a hotspot. And then connected my Apple TV to my hotspot phone, which thinks it's in America. So the apps would work on the Apple TV. And are you able to? I have, un I have unlimited data, so I can do that. Um, nice. So yeah, for the most part, not everything is working, but yeah, for the most part, I can. I just haven't had time to watch it. Like today, I binged um, Basketball Wives, and uh, married to medicine. Wait, can I just tell you something? True Are you watching Married to Medicine? No, I'm not watching that, but I am watching Below Deck Sailing Yacht. I hate that. That's the only Below Deck I hate. <laughs> I don't know I why. Like there is a very attractive man on it. And Brandon <laughs> and I, as a joke, in the beginning when it starts, we just, before you know anything about anyone, it's kind of like bachelor style. I'm like, if you were on that boat, who would you want to fuck? And he's like, mm, mm. I, I'd go with her. I'm like, you have to just pick. You have to pick. And then as the show goes on, you can't change your answer. He's like, all right. So I like pick mine. He picked That's bad. Funny. I picked real good. <laughs> I mean, That's it's a small funny. space. You've got to be show. careful. Like you got to really, you got to know what you're doing. If you decide to get in a relationship with someone on a sailing yacht, guys, you got to know what you're doing. You can't be, a, you can't it's, be, it's, you know, you know, screwing your deckhand when you're like a bosun. It's not, it's not a good idea. It's the only one that I won't watch. I oh watch my God, I deck love it so much. Uh, it makes me and crazy I watch that you don't deck. watch it. I, the, the sailing yacht thing, I'm like, who wants to do that? Well, they like, all got, spending it, thousands. there was a COVID thing. There was a, it's a, it was right. like a whole sitch. Yeah. Well, that's why I like married to medicine because they're all they're all they're all doctors in Atlanta, and it's during COVID this season, so yeah, right, it's really intense, so intense. No, I like married, but I'm I'm watching. I mean, I'm behind on my Housewives of Atlanta. I caught up to the RuPaul Drag Race today. I did that. Okay. I caught up to that. I'm, um, because like on the weekends, I literally just go out. I go on the sea bus to go into downtown Vancouver and then I just go drunk, get drunk during the day. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then you come home and you start watching your stories at like four or five. And I hate, and I hate the money here. No offense. Can it listen? 3% of our listeners are Canadian. I did the research. So <laughs> listen, if you're in Vancouver, feel free to like contact me to use my social. I'm happy to hook up and hang out. Um, but I hate That's the money right. here. No the money offense. Here is, well, the money here is a nightmare. I can't, I, like these coins, I can't. Can you see these? Wait. What do you mean like, it's I, a nightmare? It looks normal. It looks like a quarter. It's just, What's that? No, that. A dime? Well, that was a, that was, no. This was a dollar. So there's not like this paper one is dollars. A, it's I, all that. Yeah, this is they have a yeah. they have a loony and a toony. They have a two dollar one. Right. It's a toony. Right. That's a coin. That's... Um, the <laughs> money is so colorful and weird. Like these are the twenties. Right, this is the ten. Who's that guy? Oh, I love that. I don't know, but that's a beautiful bill. Yeah. Look how pretty that is. It has all the like holograms on it. This is. See, why can't our money be like a rainbow? This is. This oh. Is, this is this is the queen. Yeah, England. That's because well, it's a monarchy here. It's a what do they call it? A heritage state? A heri What do they call that? I I I've never heard of it. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I, I, real I, quick. I speaking know. of the Queen, can we talk about the whole like Harry and Meghan thing? Meghan Markle. 
I didn't, yeah. I fell asleep during the Oprah interview. Oh God. Um, okay. okay. I don't know. He I was care, more folks. interested. In, I was more interested in the Pierce Morgan situation. <laughs> and then how about the Sharon Osbourne? Then, situation? What's your name on the Sharon Osbourne on the talk? Uh, what's going on with that? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I thought it was so blown out of proportion. I was like going, Sharon, shut up. It's not that big of a deal. No one's calling you a racist. <laughs> and I love Sharon Osbourne, but I'm like going, yeah, it's not, that's not what's happening right now. <laughs> like, this is your opportunity to like really shine. And you just have turned this into some sort of chaotic. Oh man. I will tell craziness. you, you know, the last couple of weeks have been real interesting to train with Rachel. She has some very it's very you know specific perspective because i mean i think if you're from it's it must be weird like if you oh, and i talked to my oh, friend who lives in just London. explain exp explain to the explain to the fans who rachel is she has okay. the train to win rachel is trained to win um she's on instagram but she's a lionized trainer well she mostly trains me now <laughs> she was training a lot you lost 30 pounds you did an amazing job and then she was like, 20, like, 20 pounds, 20 pounds. Oh, only 20? No, 20 pounds. Oh, I thought you were straight. All right. Which well, I 20. gained back in quarantine. No, don't say you didn't. Did you weigh yourself? Oh, Christine, I haven't, I won't even look at a scale. I know for a fact that the, the two weeks I was in quarantine, I ate two breakfasts, two lunch, two, I had nothing to do but eat. Oh, God. Well, your face doesn't look that fat for, you know, I'm just saying it still looks pretty thin. <laughs> it's so cute though. Well, anyway, so she's our trainer and she's Welsh and she was really unhappy about that interview as was my friend who that lives in London. With I Megan? texted her. Yes. Well, there's so there's such respect for the monarchy when when you're from that country or continent or country, but also just, and not even not even like okay, I put them on blast. More like do an interview, like like you all you say you want is protection and like from the media. Yet you run to the media and do like the biggest interview, putting them on blast. Like the lady doc protests too much. Well, I, I think I, 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 I feel I, like that was the argument. I, well, I, my, I, I heard a really good perspective on the news and I forget which network it was, but there was a black British woman who was talking about, and she was on Megan's side, by the way, she mm -hmm. wasn't like, but what she said was, which I got was that I think that she thinks that the way that they're interpreting or that the Americans are interpreting what the monarch, the questions the monarch were asking about the color of the child were not, were legitimate questions in the sense of just like, it could have been about like, well, what if media asks or blah, blah, blah. It wasn't like for their own personal, you know, um, it, I don't know how to say I this. See without, sound, no, sound I see what you're saying. The interpretation of the British culture and the way they ask questions or statements or whatever are very different than the way we speak. So I think it was translated a little differently. Maybe. I don't, listen to me, I, my opinion, I don't fucking care. They're all making billions of dollars. So I don't really, you know, I mean, you know, figure yeah, it out, it, it, Listen, at the end of the day, I was also like, <laughs> I'm like okay. Listen, queen, monarchy, figure it out. And <laughs> Megan and, 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 and Harry, fucking figure it out. Because right now I'm trying to pay the bills, okay? I'm trying to make some coin. And your coin is like, you know, you're like a leprechaun who's got a bucket of, like a, a, with the rainbow and the gold coins. And I'm just trying to make a coin, okay? A coin, okay? And so Monarchy and Harry, y'all figure it out. Y'all are richer than, uh, like, figure it out. I know. I, I'm, it's like okay. I'm going to clap for you on that one, but I agree. I agree what you're saying. I agree what you're saying. This is the thing though. It's like, you know, oh, my parents, my parents cut me off and they didn't supply us this. They didn't supply us this. Like you got a $60 million house next to Oprah. So I don't know. I, I, like, are we all like yeah, upset? I, like Tyler Perry <laughs> put you up in his, and don't, I don't let me, don't act like you're not, for, 
by the way, they're getting paid for these interviews, which like millions of dollars for these interviews. They're saying she said she didn't. Money. Right. I can promise you that that money went into the child's name. Right. Right, I can right, I can right. promise you that they contracted so the money goes into the kids' names. They got paid. There's no way they're doing that interview and not getting paid. But regardless, but they're also okay. starting a media company in which they want to tell the true stories of real people, whatever they, that means. But but there's no reason there's no reason to say that that wasn't you know that they also if they got paid enough for that interview, like they're they have a brand. And that they're trying to now promote that brand. And they can make as much money. They're going to make tons of money. Listen, if you're telling me that there's not one studio in this world that would hire Meghan Markle to be an actor, good or bad, on a show, or a producer, or an executive producer, you're crazy. They would. Yes, of course. They would. Right. So they, the, the, they're fine. Take I'm so children. glad you're telling me this. I was so worried. I mean, and tell your friends, like, let's not get all crazy with the monarchy and get upset with Meghan and Harry and Meghan and Harry people. Don't get upset with the monarchy about be them being racist. I don't know if they're racist or not. I can't say that they're racist. I don't know. I don't know how it works there. All I know is my dream, and I've always had this one dream growing up, and it's impossible for me because of where I come from is I've always wanted to be a sir and knighted. Yeah. Maybe for your 50th. I would love that. Okay, well, I'm gonna see what Harry, I can do. If you can get me, like, like I don't know if Harry can knight people, but he's no, but the here's what I will. Us. Here's what I will do for you. I will take you to Anaheim and we will do Anaheim. that, yes. And we will do that fucking Knights of the Round Table dinner. Oh, you you think that survived COVID? <laughs> do you People really think that that place survived COVID? <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you think that? Listen, did you see the signs? Did, have you seen the local signs of the hometown buffet? They took the buffet off. It's taken off. It's just hometown. What are they going to do with hometown? They got to rebrand. Display that it's a buffet. It's not going to be a buffet. They got to rebrand. Oh. Did you know that the first the first day I got to Orlando, like we've been shut down. The first day I got to Orlando, my friends like I'm having a birthday party. Come to dinner. I was like, OK, it was they're like, I'm like, where are we going? This lobster place on International Drive. And I go, OK, great. I love lobster. I was like, OK, great. I walk in. I go, what is this? He goes, what do you mean? I go, I go, this is a buffet. It's a buffet. He goes, yeah, I go. I just left California. We haven't had, I haven't been inside a restaurant. And I go, the first restaurant I'm going to is a buffet. Oh, no. A buffet? Yeah, it was wide open. I was like, no six feet apart. No, nothing. I'm like, a buffet? Oh, my God. Did you eat? Uh, it was delicious. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. COVID free, though. As far as you know, I made it. I, I, that's the first day. Imagine the rest of the trip. Oh, you have seen I got tested, some things. I got tested. I got tested every week in Orlando. Every week. Right. Well, you oh, had. Did to. you see? My, oh, did you see my COVID mask? Oh God! How many masks can one person have? I just my friend made me this. This is my Corona mask. Stop it. What? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Who made that for you? My friend Kelly Bishman in Orlando. Her, her, oh my her God. uncle made it for me. Kelly, the one I know? Yes. Yes. It, that was in Paris with us. Paris? Paris Kelly? Her uncle made it for me. Oh my God. It's so yeah. gross. It's hilarious and so gross. I love it. Yeah. Love it. Great. It's a little crafty thing. If you want to do one, you can do it. It's very easy. Just go to the Michaels. Amazing. And get, your, yeah. get your balls. Oh, I have them all. Put your balls on your ball. Yeah, get your. Yeah, I got them all. That's I got them all, much. honey. What's the hotel? Listen, are you, how, how's the hotel? It looks nice. 
I am at the Pinnacle, uh, Pinnacle on the Pier. I'm in North Vancouver. Mm. It's nice. It's, it used to be a Marriott, I think. Mm. Um, I wanted an American hotel, even though this isn't. I did request it because I wanted to get the points. <laughs> but, but there was nothing that was like convenient. So I was like, forget mm. it. Just give me that. But it has an indoor pool. That's nice. nice. Are you swimming? And jacuzzi and a full gym. Are you using the gym? I, I haven't had a chance. I was going to FaceTime with Rachel, um, but I'm up so early that it's not going to work. I have to do it on the weekends. Yeah. That's the only day. Yeah. It's hard to get it in. Um, so that's right. But there is a pool. There is a jacuzzi. Bar is really friendly. Everything seems reasonably priced um that's good really good shop good shopping really good good shopping shopping. oh my god get me something um i'm i know i'm looking for i went to this mall yesterday i mean on on saturday sunday and i literally was like oh my god i'm in heaven like i was gonna i I could i could drop 10 grand there like easily it's like part of the mall Part of the mall is all couture and the other parts normal, but the couture, I was just like, this is like everything from like Alexander Wang to Celine to um, Valentino to Gucci. What mall were you in? What's the mall called? I was in the Pacific PC design. I don't Pacific something. I don't know. It's in downtown Vancouver. It's amazing. Yeah, the mall's amazing. Well, they used to have this mall. I feel like it was called like Reese or the mall had like a name. It was like Rice or Reese or Gerard's or not Gerard's. Like it was like a name. Right. And it was the fanciest mall I've ever been in. It was like. And they had a North, they have a Nordstrom's there. Uh, that's like beyond Nordstrom's like it's like beyond Nordstrom's I was like this isn't like our Nordstrom's it's called beyond Nordstrom's no it's a Nordstrom's but oh. it's beyond like any Nordstrom's <laughs> like Nordstrom rack to. but it's called beyond Nordstrom that's no crazy. it's Nordstrom it's a full Nordstrom but it's beyond I was like wow oh my god yeah the only issue uh, listen Vancouver's a great town couple things that suck service is really slow i've never seen more i've never seen anything like it in my life like get ready get ready canadians get ready to send your hate mail at alex they're just they're just real relaxed they're relaxed this they have i have a rent a car yes and the speed limit here is retarded (laughs) okay (laughs) it's so slow i've never seen anything I was in the car with Alyssa's husband, David, and I'm driving. He's like, why are you going so slow? I go, dude, I'm going the speed limit. He's like, there's no way. I'm like, oh yeah, this is the speed limit. And we're on a highway. And I go, I'm literally going the speed limit. He's like, Shut this up. can't be real. And everyone's going the speed limit. It's like, what? It's so how, fa- slow. how fast is it? 35 on a freeway? So, so from what I read, the highest, well, okay. So like in the area that I'm in, like the highest I've seen is 60, which is like 45 an hour, 45 miles an hour, 60 kilometers. Oh, cause it's kilometers. Right. Yeah. Everything's, I'm all kilometers right now. Yeah. You're, you're totes kilometers. Like I'm about to fill up the, the tank of gas. It's not in gallons. Liters. I don't know how it is. It's in liters. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. What I just is. think of a Coke liter, um, one Coke liter bottle. Yeah. That's all I know. Yeah. So I'm about to do that like this week. That's going to be my first full gas tank. You know, um, everything's in kilometers. The time changed happened. It took me an hour to figure out the clock in the car because it was driving me crazy. Um, so everything's <laughs> slow here. It literally slow, literally slow. Also, like I found like during quarantine, I had to order from these grocery stores called Stongs and Spuds. They're the only things that delivered. And I was like, what is it? And every time I'd order something, like half of it would be out of stock or it would be like so different than what I was expecting because it's Canadian. Mm-hmm. So I found a Safeway. 
which is like our Rouse. Yeah. And it's all American products. And I'm so, yeah. I was so excited. Oh, yes. So well, I go there every day. Here. I go, yeah, yeah. I go there every day, even if I don't need anything. Just so just you can feel look American. at the things. Okay. I just want to feel American for a little bit. And I hate America, but I want to feel American. Um, and then like remember- the Starbucks, like you can't, wait, I'm not, I'm still not done complaining. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Canadians. So my mobile order won't work here. You have to have the Canadian version of the app, which won't let you do that here on my phone. So I literally can't mobile order my Starbucks in the morning, which makes me fucking great. So I start my day having to walk in, explain my order, because I order it special, explain my order, and then wait for it, where I could normally, in America, just click, and it's ready to be there when I pick it up at the you know, Highland Park. I, I, feel like, I feel like this whole experience, Starbucks especially, is just going to teach you some real tough life lessons. And you're just gonna have to, you know, have I've it have back, a higher I've gone perspective back to on it. The early two thousands. Yeah. Yes. I've literally I've gone back to the early two thousands. I'm gonna find a low cut jean and a crop top and a tiny baby coach purse and some rocket dog. Well, the the best is I have a friend that I've met here at the bar who's who's a separated guy with two kids. Um, who is the nicest guy. Everyone's really nice here, by the way. Everyone's real nice. Oh, but Canadians he, are the nicest. The nicest. He's so nice. And so he sort of befriended me or whatever, but he likes to talk dirty about his dates. So he <laughs> uses the word pussy quite often. What? Oh, I was like, uh, okay. And he drinks wine. <laughs> I, I, and he drinks wine. So he's like all about wine, wine, everything is wine. So he texts me on WhatsApp. He's like, what's your WhatsApp number? I go, it's the same number here, take my number. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I'll text you on WhatsApp. I'll say, okay. So I go to Joey's um, over here. It's like right across the hotel. He's like, meet me, I, I just got a bottle there, uncorking wine. And then he starts, by the way, I record all the, this is it's so illegal, but I'm just like, I, I'm like, no one's gonna believe these conversations. I record, I'm not gonna put it on the podcast, but I, I'm gonna let you hear them. I record all our conversations because it's so like you're like uh-huh uh-huh he's like yeah the, her pussy wanted it and she, like that's how he talks to me but with a nice canadian accent so it's like and he's really nice about it and i'm like going this is so i feel like oh literally my god so what dirty what yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah he talked about how he broke his friend's patio couch having sex i mean it's like uh, it's all in here yeah everyone's like this is like i don't understand you talk to everybody i go and i'm talking to him through a plexiglass through the plexiglass I cannot I we're cannot. talking to i said the visual is insane we're literally having a conversation through plexiglass <laughs> what has the world come to you are d- yeah. so starved yeah. for a t- so then, like attention. So then he like he invites me to like he's like, hey, I'm having a barbecue at the house. Come over, blah blah blah. You just met this oh, guy. Yeah. Oh, it's man, best friends. We're best friends. He saw me on when I walked in. He, he just saw me. He goes, are you just done from where? I was like, yeah, I'm exhausted. He goes, fuck, man, I just had a glass of wine. Uh, and I go, sorry, dude. He was like, yeah. He goes. Yeah, I got three dates tonight. You know, like he's all like dates and like, because he's just got separated. And he's a, a man of a certain size. So, you know, he's, people are bigger here. How so? I think, I think they're corn fed. They're taller. They're just bigger. Like, <laughs> I've talked, listen, I know, not, I know nothing about hockey and curling. I've talked nothing but hockey, curling and pussy. With this guy, and I know nothing. Yeah. I know nothing about. I, I, know, I know nothing. I cannot. I swear to God. That is hilarious. Yeah, and so Why what I do that? is okay. What I, what I, what I do is like with the hockey stuff. I always just add like crazy words in it, like, 
yeah, well, you know, the Canucks, with the Canucks, it's it's situational, man. He goes, yeah, it is. I, I use the word situational a lot. Situational, situational. It's like... It could literally like, mean any situation. It could mean anything. So I'm just like, yeah, it's, well, you know, like I said, it's just situational, you know, and just oh try to, and I was like, can I, yeah. And then they measure the, the drinks, they measure the drinks. Like, it's like, a, it's so, it's a nightmare. I'm like, I, the bartender knows. I go, look, everything I order, I want it in a double and I want it in a short glass. Don't make it a tall glass, short glass, okay? He's like, okay. So like with wine, they're like, do you want a six ounce or a nine ounce? I go, what are you talking about? Just give me the nine ounce at this point. Like what, nine ounce. Nine ounce, come on. Do they, uh, yeah, what, what, what did you drink tonight? I had Dewar's on the rocks, double. In a short, short. glass. I had a, and I had a, a, Is that a him? Is that the pussy talker? No, no, no. That's um, oh. the news. Oh. Well, <laughs> really, could be anyone. <laughs> I just my, I just changed my frame on my watch. I don't know what I did. All right, listen, we said it all. What time is it? I want to miss. He's tired, y'all. He's call. got it. Mama's gonna put the no, movie on and go watch this story. I, I only had I only had one drink and I have to have one more before I go to bed. Okay. Um, well, this was great. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm glad you're, you know, yeah. getting through it. I can't wait to see you. I, I I have a feeling I'm gonna end up going back to Florida for a month. Really? During this Christine, it was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know. I mean, nothing's, none of my bars are open in LA. Nothing's open. No, no. Are you kidding? We just opened. Limited capacity. But bars are All open? Bar yes, limited capacity. I think it's 25% oh. right now. Granted, after spring break, okay. we'll see what happens, but. Well, now, yeah, it's going to go back. I don't know. They actually, there was a lot of news that said right after this last surge that with the vaccine, LA is looking like it might be the first to get herd immunity. So. It, it may not. It may not. We'll see. I don't know. I can't wait to get it. You'll be, this is I'm what's going to happen. You've too. been trying to get it for months. And by the time you actually get back here, I will have gotten it before you. <laughs> like, he's so mad. My friend's 16 year old kids have gotten it. I didn't know you could get it if you were under 18. If you could get, you can get the Moderna. 16 i mean i mean the pfizer oh, 16 and up 16 and up the moderna 18 and up my friend's kids got it i get a text there isn't one person i know that has not texted me going just got the vaccine just got the vaccine knowing that i'm the only one who's like i can't fucking wait to get the like i was put i got a florida id you really went the extra mile i feel like you just are going to go back there just to get the vaccine just to make it all worth it even though you could come to LA and get it just as easily. I know. I really <laughs> love the Florida life. It was so fun. Ah, I feel you. I feel you. I went to West well, Palm listen. Beach for New Year's. Oh, wow. You didn't see any of the house. That picture, the picture, no, the picture of the, um, by the way, Salt Lake City, A number one, can't wait for season two. Um, the picture of me in the Wall Street Journal is, I think I was in Fort Lauderdale that day at the beach. It was very pretty. It was a good pick. It was a good pick. Um, all right. Well, good. best of luck there. Uh, I right, will be listen, going embarking. You can, listen, no, listen to me. I'll be embarking to the Redwoods next week with my family, which is like the worst thing why? you've ever heard. Spring break. I'm taking my children to see some large trees. They got them here. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. Are you There's road tripping be stories. Yes. Yes. We're road tripping it. Sounds horrible. Sounds horrible. <laughs> you, of course you would say that. I think um, I'm the I, only one during COVID. I think I, I literally traveled 10 times during COVID. I know. I haven't been on an airplane yet. It's going to be weird. My parents want us to come see them in June. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like getting ready to book tickets. And I said to Brandon, 
like, is that going to be weird? He's like, well, I'm sure it's going to be weird the first time we go anywhere, but no, it's going to be fine. It's June. Too, I'll go but... with you. Okay, great. I'll go Come with to you. Atlanta. You just want to go anywhere Are you doing right Delta? now. <laughs> yeah, Delta. Are you doing Delta? Delta. No, I'll, I'll do it. I, I okay. got plenty of miles. Okay, great. Come. You can come. My mom is dying for you to sleep over. You know this. <laughs> well, no, I have I have people in the city. I gotta stay in the city. I can't even stay in the I'm, just, I'm done with suburbs. I'm over it. You are special. Uh thanks for listening. Yeah, but to we the could Worst drive, we could we could we could drive to Orlando for I want to go to Charleston. Weekend. No, I want to go to Charleston. Hold on. Hold on, you could drive to Orlando for a weekend, stay at my parents' house, and go to Disney. Hmm. That is enticing. You have a free place to stay. We have a plenty of room. All right. Well, I'll think about that. I'll, I did tell her that we were going to go to Disneyland for her magic birthday, which is next year. So I kind of, I want to make it special. I want to make sure that that birthday is special. You can't like you go to we Disney have... World, Disneyland is a different story. You go to Disneyland, you go to Disney World, and you're like, oh my God, it's so big and Epcot and the whole thing. And then you're like, Disneyland. I know. I went. Did I show you my Disney masks? You went to Disney World? Yes. When? When you were there, it was open? Yes. Yeah, it's always been open. Here's one of them. Oh my God. Wow. Oh yeah, no, I, I have I have the full oh this I have another one in here. I think they've got it. I think they're gonna have to open it pretty soon. They are opening Disneyland April end of April. Oh great. With my Chanel. Mm, nice. With Chanel. I wonder how they're gonna um, deal because I told you we bought passes ten days before the lockdown. Oh, that one's cute. It's very, very, very cute. All right. Who knows? That, who knew this would become a mat, like a three-pronged mask fashion show? I mean, I, the best part is you hide your face. No one, it should be a great. Okay, wait, hold on. Can I just tell you, I was in a situation recently where I was having a lot of feelings that and that mask saved my life meaning like i had to sit for several hours doing something and um i i just there were things that like i was listening to these songs and to a friend's you know production and i was just like i don't know about this and that mask i was literally like okay I can just, I'm just like, I can't even, I can't, I it was cannot. Live. I it was, was so live. happy. Was, you were, you were yes, there outside. in the room I was, I was basically, it was basically a Nicole Tom garden production. So no, it was in a garden. Which by the way. Yes, it was outside. We talked to her today. Yeah, it was her birthday today. Um, it was like an outside Nicole Tom garden production. And. Oh, no. mm, 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 uh, yeah. Uh, uh, but I was so I happy with my mask. I was like, oh my God, this is great. Right, I, so I will miss it, it for that. We've said it all. Okay. Thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, we Goodbye, will be back me. at some point. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, you can find more at Worst we'll... Ever Podcast. And you can find me at Alec Ladd. You can find me at Yo right. Lakin. I don't even know. Yeah. No, we'll do more. What we'll do is we'll just try to pump these out in the next couple of months. Pump them out so you have some quality con- content. We might Thank not, you. due to our traveling, we might not have a lot of guests right away, but we will have us at least. We'll have us. And that's sometimes because all you need. Scheduling is nuts. Okay, thanks for listening. That's all I-